Hi, this is JP Morgan. And this is Kenneth Merrill. Today on Sign Lens, we're going to take another look at the Nikon Z6 II. We're going to take another look at the autofocus because we think there's one thing that if you don't know about autofocus on this camera, then it does not perform well for you and you're not going to love it. But if you know this one thing, you're going to love it. So first of all, I want to say that in most shooting conditions, the Z6 Mark II is going to do great with the autofocus. It's very responsive. It's going to be sharp, just like most cameras these days. Where we did find it struggled compared to the Canon R6, say, is in two scenarios. First of all, when you're using tracking mode, so face detect particularly, if the subject is too far away, it's just not going to pick up their face. No. Which means it may start tracking them too late. Another scenario where it didn't do, well, do so well was when someone was walking from bright sunlight into shadow. So when they were underexposed, it kind of lost them even when it was tracking. And you can see that here in this example where it is staying with JP's face when he's in the sun, but as soon as he moves to shadow, it kind of freaks out and goes to the background and it never recovers. So that's why in the previous video we said, you know what, this autofocus isn't as good as some of the competitors because in these scenarios the competitors are doing a little better. But what we didn't understand, and after talking to Nikon and getting some good advice, is there is a mode on this camera where you can choose a box. So if you want a composition, rule of thirds, up in the upper right hand corner, and you want your person to stay in that corner, you put the box there. Now at a distance, that box picked up the person just fine. And when you went behind the tree, it picked the person back up behind the tree, you see in this example. And the person walks up as Kenneth walks up to me, it's staying with him the entire time, right into a close-up. And even again with the shadows, it was tracking when, he's in, when JP was in the sun, and then when he moved to the shadow, it was still looking to focus on something within that box. So it didn't jump to the background or try and find something else in the image to focus on. It still kept with his face and kept him in focus the whole time. Now, I felt like the Nikon is actually doing better than uh, what we experienced with any other of the cameras that we tested. I felt like in some ways it's almost superior with the extreme, you got, with the really constraint that you have to be in that box. You have to be focusing in that box. I actually like this mode a lot because as amazing as some of the focusing systems on, are on say the Canons or the Sony's new cameras, uh, they do make mistakes. You are basically leaving the focus decision up to a really smart computer and it doesn't matter how smart that computer is, sometimes it won't know what you want. And there are scenarios I've been in where you're trying to shoot someone's face but there's another high contrast object in the frame and the focus keeps wanting to jump to that because it gets confused. And I love this mode because it says, no, 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 don't focus on anything outside of this box. It's almost like a perfect hybrid of pinpoint autofocus and face detect at the same time. So we, we really, the way we served this up when we did our test before, we, as far as tracking goes, in a general mode, it doesn't do as well as a lot of the cameras that we have worked with. But when it comes to this specialty mode, I think in some ways it's a superior system in that and really does, or at least every bit as good yeah. as what we've tested. I, my concern with these kinds of autofocus things is I don't understand manufacturers why they don't just make these things extremely clear about their cameras, <laughs> saying our autofocus works best for people when you use this mode. Or you know, I, I feel yeah. like they should be more educational in the process. But we need to be better about finding these things out. And once we did our research, after all of our listeners said, hey, you guys, <laughs> figure it out, uh, it truly was a great system. So we hope you enjoy this. We hope that it, uh, it shows that Nikon truly does have a place. And this camera is an excellent step up for them as they go to that uh, second generation. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, make sure you subscribe here at The Slanted Lens. Ring that bell and become a part of our family. And again, thanks again for watching and keep those cameras rolling. And keep on clicking.